I got my hat. Uh -huh. Hey, everybody, it's July the 1st, 2019. Man, you're on Steve I, Steve O's live webcam. Oh, man. I go to the credit unit. <laughs> There's some money in my account. Oh, Lord. I got a, I had a new offer on a city MasterCard, whatever, MasterCard. Uh, turn the camera over here. Yeah. Uh, I got a zero interest for 12 months. And my daughter wanted a phone. See, if you spend a thousand bucks in three months, they would send you, if you get so many points, and it's worth money. So it'd be like a hundred bucks free. So <coughs> she spent the money. I got her a phone on there. Of course, she didn't even pay off, but they sent me a hundred dollar check. It's free money, so I'm going to stick it in my bank account and spend it, probably. And that goes. The more money you make, the more you spend. That's the truth. So my mile in there is not working on my. I was at the flea market yesterday, and I know most people don't use GPS systems unless they use their phone now. But I'm not carrying my phone today because it's at home. The new phone law, you can't talk on your phone while you're driving, started today. I just made a live stream on YouTube about it. So. The priorities on laws in this country are so messed up, it's pathetic. But you got these bootlickers that go along with anything, anything, any kind of law. You know, one law leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, until you, you're not able to do shit. And that's a fact. It just, every year, like the new Congress, all those women that's in office now, they passed a bunch of bills, but they've all been laws, new laws, new laws. Well, if they pass something that's going to help people instead of a law to restrict people from doing stuff. Makes a lot of sense. Hey, Lord, what do I know? I'm just a dumb hick from Tennessee, right? Yep. Yeah. I got a little common sense, but that's about it. I got a good looking truck. I've been thinking about selling my truck because it's so hard on gas. But I ain't getting me a 1500 series. But I love this truck. But I could probably sell it for what I paid for it. And I've had it two years. It's got uh, 43,229 miles. It's a 2010 model. So, and it's a GMC SLE. It's got the backup camera, six disc CD player, uh, towing package, spray and bed liner. I mean, it don't have a dent nowhere that I know of or a scratch, but I'd have to look it over. I'm pretty sure it don't have a nick nowhere on it. If it does, I don't know about it. it. Needs to be cleaned up a little. But I thought about selling it and getting me a 1500 four door. The only problem with that is I don't know what I'm getting, and I know what I got when I bought this. I knew the guy that owned it, uh, and it only had 33,000 miles on it. So I've had it a year, or no, two years almost, and I haven't even put 10,000 on it. So no more drive. That's, that's one thing that's keeping me from selling it. No more driving than I do. I don't really burn that much gas, but when I do drive, you know, I'm averaging, you know, town. Everything. I'm usually averaging between 11 and 12 miles a gallon. And that, you know, sometimes it's less than that. It shows you the little average hanger when you're holding on to a trip and your fuel range and then your average economy. Economy right now is sitting on 12.3, and I've used almost half a tank. That's not very good mileage. 12.3 miles a gallon. That's pretty horrible. Pretty horrible mileage, really, to be honest. So I could probably buy a 1500 and get 17. Uh, it would save me some of gas. So, you know, you're looking at another 100 some miles of tank of gas. That's not a lot, but well, it is. With these big 30, 40 tanks of gas, that's one miles. So that's a lot of trips to the beach and back, or whatever, or to Knoxville and back, or whatever. You know, come on, people, get up to shit and go. Yeah, I thought I'd, I'm hands free. I'm not, I'm not going to use my phone and drive, which I never did much anyway. Once in a while, I'd answer it. But I learned my lesson about texting and driving because one day I was right here on this road. And Lowe's is right here on the left. And I was in that Montero, and I pulled out of Lowe's, and I grabbed my phone to look at it. And by shit, let me tell you, I was running about 40. And I just glanced up, and there was a car stopped right dead in front of me. And I mean, I hit the brake. And you probably could have put a hair in between the bumpers. That's how close I came to that car. And I said, that's it for me. No more texting and driving. <laughs> or no more looking at my phone. I'm done with it. But they didn't need to make a law, you know. That's the way I feel about it. People are still going to put their phone in a, in a mount somewhere, and they're, they're going to answer it in a speakerphone. I mean, they're still going to be distracted. No different than holding it, holding it. I mean, most people just drive with one hand anyway. That's what I do. I guess they'll make the long answer where they better see both hands on the wheel. You know, that's, uh, that's the next law, probably. Every time they turn around, they're making a new law. They're making new gun laws, new, new laws to do with anything that has anything to do with your life, period. Pretty soon they'll have a law how many times a day you can flush your toilet, no matter if you're paying your own water bill. So, yeah, I'm just 
top of lot today, I guess. Got a lot to say. We got a long way to go and short time to get there. So. All the businesses that's moved out on this end, everything just keeps pushing this way. I did some work on the new Taco Bell over there, but it's been a while. Yep, it's been a while. 